it's one of the most exciting times of the year, the Lunar New Year. Over one billion people around the world are celebrating. During this unique holiday, there is no shortage of red, with celebrators choosing to wear the color along with lighting fireworks to symbolize scaring away a sea monster in a legend which is connected to the holiday. The Lunar New Year is also a time to feast and when people reunite with their families. I think for many Chinese, uh, New Year means uh, reunion, means to get people, families to get together. But China is also experiencing an outbreak of coronavirus, with the country saying it's infected 80% of the population, as some are not celebrating but mourning the family members they've lost. It's just a very, very difficult, you know, to to meet anybody and uh, to go to the public place. Still, during the holiday, people are making wishes for the year ahead, including here in Hong Kong at a temple, which wasn't accessible last year because of coronavirus restrictions. Last year, I could only watch a live stream of the incense placing at the temple. I'm glad that I can be here in person this year. I hope Hong Kong's economy will recover and everyone has a job. Good health for everyone and the pandemic is under control and so not many people will be infected anymore. While last year was the year of the tiger, 2023 is the year of the rabbit, which has a more playful image. And at this historical Buddhist temple in Taiwan, hundreds entered for prayers, with believers surrounding an incense burner to pray for good fortune. Whether it's in Taiwan or China or elsewhere around the world, the celebrations are endless with a spark of hope for a better future.